I'd argue that the most prevalent fashion content on the internet today is the fit pick. The fit pick, definitely one of the easiest way to showcase your distinct interest in fashion through social media. In today's video, I'm gonna be discussing how the fit pick has influenced fashion. And I also have three guests on the show that I'm very excited about, all of which take fit picks on Instagram and have varying levels of followers. They are Shaylin Thompson, Rachel Gomez, and Lucas Cash. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Drew what it do. And then for those of you who do know me, what's up squad? Let's get a couple fist bumps. Uno, dos, you know what I'm saying? For the squad. <laughs> I want this comment section to be filled up. Write down what you think your initial impressions are of fit picks. Do you like them? Do you not like them? Do you take them? Do you not take them? Without further ado, let's get into the video. From my perspective, the Fitpick has been around a while within the cultural cachet of fashion's internet communities, but has really grown in the prominence in the last, I would say, two years, ever since the advent of the pandemic. This is because the pandemic gave a lot of individuals the opportunity to take time out of their day to go outside take fit pics there really was nothing else to do during lockdowns people still wanted to engage in wearing outfits more than just kind of your typical loungewear quarantine fit so they went outside and took fit pics and a lot of people did that and a lot of people took fit pics before the pandemic but i think a lot of people did start taking fit pics because of the pandemic basically a fit pic is showcasing your outfit through instagram typically it can be through other mediums like TikTok or whatever but typically it's through Instagram in which you just kind of showcase your outfit against a background that kind of helps bring out the best features within an outfit typically the best fit pics have really simple backgrounds or very like aesthetically pleasing backgrounds but the main idea of a fit pic is to showcase what you're wearing from your footwear to your pants to your hats to your accessories to your tops to showcase kind of what you like to wear on a day-to-day -day basis your boy personally started taking fit pics around October 2020, so I wasn't really a part of that first initial wave of people taking fit pics earlier in the year. I started a little bit later in the fall time, and this is actually the first fit pic that I took. I was wearing an Edward Joyner crew neck with some 874s um, for my pants, had a pair of Vans skate highs on the Fear of God variant, and then a EJ Beanie. This was my first fit pic. I had no idea really what I was doing. I was just kind of seeing what I was seeing on Instagram. I was like, let me just try this. And so I just took a fit pic just to be a part of the community. I wanted to engage in the community more. And so this was my first ever step into the world of fit pics. <laughs> Honestly, this is kind of weird to say, but those pictures were kind of my first photos, my, my initial start on making content around fashion on the internet, which is crazy to say, October 2020. And we're almost at the one year mark for the channel, which is crazy too. The art of the fit pic isn't a very complicated one. Typically what people do is like I said, they find a relatively blank or clear wall within their city or within their town. They put their fit on, they go, or usually it's after work or before work. And then they take their pictures usually using a tripod or if say of someone who's a nice enough to take the fit pic for them, they'll have them take them for them. And that's kind of the sum of the fit pic. Or another kind of, I guess, scenario for fit pics is if you're out like on the weekend, you're doing things, going to the museum, eating lunches, uh, hanging out with friends. You have your friends just kind of snap a quick fit pic of you so you can post on the Instagrams of the world and, and showcase kind of your outfit for other people within the fit pic community. The most recognized kind of fit pic takers in the fashion community typically are your content creators who divulge and devote a little bit more time into it than just the person who also has to work their job and isn't you know using content as their main source of income you know your fashion youtubers your influencers if you'd like to call them that or just people who are kind of very much so uh, working within the fashion industry who have access to some maybe higher end products all those kind of people typically get a little more recognition but i think when we think about fit picks we're mostly talking about just kind of the general culture the general community right and the general community has people who you know work regular nine to five jobs take fit pics indulge in fashion have an opportunity to showcase their fashion outside of what they typically might wear in their workforce or their workplace and it's become a really interesting place to showcase new items sneakers accessories like i said right it's really it's really an interesting part of fashion in 2021 in my opinion
A lot of people who are into fashion will typically ask me, like, why do you take fit pics? Like, what is the point? Like, like why do you engage in this kind of uh, photo taking or the content, you know, for fashion? For me, it started with community. I think in school, um, you have this kind of community based on the region of the world or region of a city that you live in. And you engage and you interact within that community all throughout adolescence and then once school kind of ends your work community is a little bit different than school because you don't necessarily get to express yourself in the same manner if you don't work within fashion typically and so a lot of people strive and hunt that community down because they want to be a part of something that is true to themselves right they want to be able to connect with people who are like-minded who are into fashion who like uh, certain brands or certain products and being able to showcase that oh i i have this this brand or I wear this type of clothing in this genre who else wears this is kind of the main reason why I started taking fit pics and why a lot of people will probably say they started taking fit pics community is a big answer and I asked one of the first guests of this video I am Shay on Instagram I am Shay T on Instagram to talk about why he started taking fit pics and this is what he said and just be a part of a community you know like I was with basketball because basketball was my, my saving grace man I can hop on a court, you know, hop on like a, a, you know, any kind of five on five or three on three. And I just meet people that way too. And then, mm -hmm. you know, when I wasn't so into basketball as much as like, okay, well, how else can I, you know, be a part of the community and still be, still be able to meet more people and the fashion was the one. So I love Shay's answer. And I think another reason why people take fit picks is to also garner attention and bring awareness to the affinity that they have for fashion for even a more professional sense whether it be for modeling or whatnot i also talked to rachel gomez who is a kind of fashion tiktoker and content creator on instagram and tiktok and i asked her why she started taking fit pics and this is kind of what she told me as well okay so i think originally i kind of started because i've always seen myself kind of like as like a model um, I've really been interested in like fashion, like modeling and stuff. And recently I've, I've been like looking into like runways and stuff and just watching that and just being so like, I don't know, fascinated by the process. But mm -hmm. I remember, I think even when I was in like middle school, I would look at pages. Like, I don't know if you know, um, who black dope is, but I feel like she's like the first girl who really started like going hard, taking fit pics. And she has like the super tomboy, um even some like higher end like in in her fashion and right. like, she started it all so I would look at like content creators like her and um some others and just get like super inspired and I like love their feed and I love their aesthetic and it was like it was one of those things where I'm like ah oh, I want to do that like I want to do that for these discussion based videos I want to know what do you guys think about fit pics I think Rachel's answer is kind of on the same vein as Shay's answer but I want to know what you think like how do you perceive taking fit pics do you take them do you not I really want to know comment them down below kind of rhymed I really want to know comment them down below Welcome to the show. <laughs> I totally think that the psychology of fit pics is a really interesting one. Even if you don't like taking fit pics, I think that for Rachel and for Shay, they both live in the United States. They both take fit pics in different regions of the country. So that means their Instagram pictures, the photography that they take is influenced by the region they live in. So the buildings that Shay lives around is different than the ones that Rachel does because Shay lives in Texas and Rachel lives in California. And then their outfits have a totally different vibe and jive to them in terms of how they compose their outfits and what they decide to wear. And then they kind of showcase their creativity in a different way, whether it be how they pose their bodies or how they decide to position themselves within the frame. And they both use tripods often to take their pictures, which I feel like is a really interesting case study when it comes to the idea of taking fit pics. I invited another person to give me their perspective on taking fit pics and is none other than Lucas Cash. Some of you may know him. He is a YouTuber slash Instagram content creator and he makes TikToks now within the fashion space. He's a pretty young dude. He's a pretty cool dude. Here's his perspective on why he started taking fit pics. Pics, uh, for sure. I think I was definitely inspired by some of the big fashion guys, um, Sanjeev, uh, Kyron Warwick, like those guys have really cool pictures on their Instagram. And you know, when you're like young and in high school, you're like, how, how can I elevate, 
you know, my Instagram or how, how can I kind of like show off what I'm into? And I think fit pics is like the perfect way to be like, hey, this is kind of some stuff I'm into. These are like some of my favorite or something I've thrifted recently. Um, and you kind of show off some clothes that you've been wearing recently. So it's kind of a little um, time stamp, you know, like, hey, here's my fit right here. Yeah, uh, this is what I've been into. I really enjoyed Lucas's answer because he talked about fit picks being as a way to document how your fits or how your fashion style evolves over time. And I think it's a really, really cool concept to be able to take a picture document that have that be in your camera roll or on your instagram feed and then you can look back on it like i showed you guys earlier with my october 2020 picture you can look back on it and say wow i changed in this way or i haven't changed in this way and it's just kind of fun to be able to see how you evolve if you get older and how you just change throughout your entire life cycle within fashion and within just your life to me, the major influence of Fitpix is how they bring people within a similar affinity or a similar genre of fashion together into a community. And that's kind of the main kind of influence I would say Fitpix have brought to the table as it relates to the fashion community. Especially on Instagram, the Fitpix slash fashion community is fantastic. I am almost amazed by how kind people are for one, how many nice compliments others will send you or will ask you about their the thing that you're wearing in your outfit and it, it goes vice versa at no point does anyone in the instagram fashion community or the fit pick community throw any shade at anybody you know throw any hate at anybody in the comment sections it's all about love and showcasing the things that we all enjoy and i think that's one of the most powerful things about the fitbit community especially on instagram i think shay does a really good job of portraying this really good feeling that he gets when being within the Fitbit community on Instagram, here's what he says. Yeah, for sure community, man. I think this community, this type of fashion community, you know, is is unique in its own. It's just amazing the type of people you come to, you come around, you know, like I think this year alone has been more pivotal than the last, you know, however long I've been doing this. It's simply because like, you know, I was able to like just set aside four or five months of just strict hard pushing on the on the platform and just and literally engaging with people and talking and the and genuinely engaging people's time and like really having those conversations and like it led to so much more than what I thought, you know, just like me exchanging phone numbers, me doing link ups in my own city, me traveling, things like that. And it's like I would have never thought to do that kind of stuff back in 2013, 12, you know, so. I love his answer. And I asked the other two, you know, why they continue to take fit pics. And this is what Rachel ended up saying. I think it's like one, it's actually a really fun process. Even um, even if you're like taking fit pics alone, because I will like use like a little iPhone tripod, you know, those from like Amazon and stuff. Yeah. Um, it's like kind of nerve wracking, but it's like really fun. And it's a fun process. I like, I really like when I have like an outfit and I find a background that kind of like matches it or complements it well. It's almost like the fit pick in itself, like is an art form. So like the outfit itself, like putting it together and styling it is an art, but then like putting the whole picture together is an art form in itself. And I think that's like a really fun process, like in order to like express myself and like kind of like my style and, and that's what i think the core of fashion is when she mentioned the self-expression aspect the ability to express yourself is something that typically with words it can get lost in translation it's sometimes difficult to express yourself as an individual i i've experienced that we've all experienced that but i think fashion is one of the most interesting ways it tells a story about you without you having to say a word and it portrays a an individual's kind of affinity towards um, a certain detail of life, which is clothing, that you typically can gloss over if you don't really care about fashion or can gloss over if you aren't really within the subcultures that exist within fashion. Hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, this is what Lucas had to say when I asked him about why he continues to take fit pics to this day. To this day, to this day. <laughs> Show your style uh, without like full on fit pictures but i think that's kind of been the standard way of people showing like hey these are some boots that i found this is like my favorite sweatshirt you know and like i think you're really just kind of documenting like this is what i'm still into and people uh 
really like to um, compare and like show fits. You know, like when I'm on Instagram, I'm like commenting on the homies Instagram pics. I'm like, oh, this is sick. Like, I love this. And then they're like, yeah, dude, I was I, I liked what you did on yours. So it's like, you know, I got that jacket idea from you or something. I think um, it's definitely like a good way to just kind of share with the community and to like kind of keep the the um, staleness away. You know, you keep it in things fresh with uh, just new fits, new pictures, whatever you want. Fit picks are definitely an interesting aspect of fashion. And I really want to know what you think about them down in the comment section. I've been saying that. It's my third time saying that in this video. I would love to hear it. If you're a part of the community, if you engage in the Fitbit community, what is your experience like? I think Fitbits are here to stay as long as, you know, Instagram and TikTok and things like that are prevalent, which I think that they'll always be prevalent in society. They really have a grip on the the modern world, right? Like our world is really shaped a lot by social media and our perspectives are shaped by social media. Even listening to this video or watching this video you know, this is, I would consider YouTube still social media, right? So these things are going to be here. I want to know what you think. It's about conversation. And hopefully, you know, we can look back on this video or we can look back on the fit pics that we took and we can just smile about where we were when we were, you know, 18, 19, 22, 24, 27, 28, 33, 45. Like we can look back and say, okay, this is, this is where I was at in 2021. Right. And one of the weirdest things I've been thinking about a lot lately, this is very ad lib, guys. I did not script this at all. But um, 2021, like we're in 2021. And I don't know if you guys think about like time and history, but like think about like 1920. Like in the future, people will think about 2021 as they did as we do 1920 as an era of fashion as an era of technology and it's just fun to kind of communicate and conversate with different topics within fashion and that hopefully if you're watching this video to this point you're subscribed or you're going to subscribe because that's what this channel is about right it's about creating a level of community a level of conversation about topics in 2021 that hopefully in 2042 it'll prove us some insight into you know where we were at within the current kind of zeitgeist of fashion right peace love and positivity in 2021 so that means i'm spreading peace love and positivity to you wherever you are in the world have a wonderful rest of your day abianto hasta luego jumpa lagi avida say i'll see you guys later <laughs> yo what's up y'all you made it to the post vid vid <laughs> hopefully my one percent squad made it to the end of the video this is the post vid vid where i talk a little bit more about my just random thoughts in my head and where I can move the channel forward with the people who actually care about the content and care about the videos being made on this channel. So if you made it to this point, you know what we do. A couple fist bumps, one, two, three, four, five. You feel me? I had to, I had to hit the five, the, the five, because I don't know, that's how I'm feeling today. I'm feeling good. So hopefully you guys are feeling all right as well. One of the questions I wanna ask you guys is, should I make a Discord? A couple people, have DM me asking me, do I have a Discord, blah, blah, blah. And I want to know what you guys think. Should we make a Discord for the channel? Should we talk about fashion even further? Talk about deals? Talk about whatever, video games, manga, whatever. I could talk about really whatever because I have other interests beyond just fashion. And hopefully you do too. But we can make the focus fashion. Whatever you guys want to do, we can do it. But just let me know. Should we make a Discord or should we not? Also, I'm recording a, or I already recorded a podcast with Day Jones. If you guys know who Day is, she also makes YouTube videos here on YouTube. That that would make sense. She makes YouTube videos on YouTube, not on like Instagram or something like that. But if you guys have a chance this week on Wednesday, I think the date is going to be September 20. Today's the 25th. Sunday's the 26th. Monday's the 27th. Tuesday's the 28th. Wednesday's the 29th. So on the 29th, Day Jones' podcast will come out. So if you haven't tuned into the Beyond the Garment podcast, I would do so because it was a great conversation. I would appreciate it. Also, one last thing. One last thing before the video is over. The ALD New Balance 550s just came back out or just restocked on ALD's like raffle site. Um, if you don't have a link, I will put the link in the description or I'll send it to you. If you comment, I want the ALD link. 
I'll, I'll send you that link because I have the, I got the link and I'll be sure to send that to you. Let me know if you want it. It's a raffle. It's just, uh, it's not guaranteed. So you, it, the retail is 130, way, way cheaper than the resale price of the shoe. I have the shoe right here. As you guys can see, it's kind of, is it washed out? I can't tell. This is one of the shoes from, this is not the shoe that's releasing. What am I saying? This is an ALD 550 though. It's not the shoes that are releasing. The, the shoes that are releasing are the original four, like the gray, the navy, the red, and then the green one. So if you guys want to know, let me know. Anyways, have a blessed rest of your week. That was a lot. That was a lot for the post vid vid. That was a lot. Have a blessed rest of your week. I'll see you guys later. Peace.